What it do YouTube, it's Kindu. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a build I call the Toxic Boat build. And I'm not talking about the YouTuber slash streamer. And be sure to like and subscribe if you find this build in any way helpful or cool. The goal is 300 subs by the end of October. So hopefully you guys can help me out with that. But now getting into it, the best way I could explain this build is you're gonna have infinite melee charges with a lot of poison spreading to enemies. And coming up in this clip, you're gonna see a good example of that. And make sure you always pick up the arc well whenever you do this this melee attack. And since there's chances that arc wells don't spawn if you do it too rapidly, I would recommend running Pugilist on one of your weapons. For focusing stats, I would recommend 100 resilience, try to get your discipline as high as it can, I have it at tier 9, and then try to get your recovery as high as you can. The exotic armor piece we're gonna be running is the Necrotic Grit, and the perk on it is called Grasp of the Devour, which reads, damaging combatants poisons them, dealing increasing damage over time. Defeating a poison combatant spreads the condition, provides a moderate benefit to the airborne effectiveness stat of all weapons of sorrow. Now we're only gonna focus on the top portion of this perk where it enhances our melee ability. So now we're gonna have arc chains along with this poison that spreads to enemies to clear out a room very fast. And our melee's chain with lightning from this arc melee we're gonna use called chain lightning. And the description of this is an extended range melee that jolts your target and chains lightning to nearby enemies. While amplified, it creates an additional set of chains. And with that in mind, that's going to take us into our first aspect, which is called Electrostatic Mind. And this reads, defeating targets with arc abilities or defeating jolted or blinded targets creates an ionic trace. Collecting an ionic trace makes you amplified. So since we're always gonna be killing with our arc melee ability, that's gonna create an ionic trace for us so then we could become amplified. And then when we become amplified, that gives us more chains of lightning to spread to more enemies. Moving on to the second aspect, which is called lightning surge. It reads, while sliding, activate your charged melee ability to blink forward calling down lightning strikes that jolt targets as you rematerialize. So this is the aspect that basically makes this build and makes add clear so easy to do. And there really isn't much else to say about it besides it's gonna kill easily and make your arc wells easy with your melee wellmaker mod. Moving on to the fragments, the first one you're gonna wanna run is Spark of Frequency, which is melee hits greatly increase your reload speed for a short duration. So since you're always gonna have your charged melee, you're always gonna have your weapons with Pugilus have this faster reload perk proc, so then you can have a more faster gameplay. The second fragment is gonna be Spark of Resistance, which is while surrounded by combatants, you are more resistant to incoming damage, and this is gonna give us 10 plus strength. So even though our charged melee should clear everything out, it's still nice to have more damage damage resistance when we're trying to close that distance with the enemies. And the 10 plus strength is obviously going to help us get to a higher tier to get our melee charge back faster. And speaking of closing the distance, we're going to get into the third fragment, which is Spark of Recharge, which is while critically wounded, your melee and grenade energy regenerates more quickly. So when you are closing that distance and you start to get the low health, this is going to come in handy. So moving on to the last fragment, it's going to be Spark of Feedback, which is taking melee damage briefly increases your outgoing melee damage, and this is going to give us plus 10 resilience. So yes, the plus 10 resilience is nice, but this could be useful for the bigger enemies that aren't going to be easily taken down and end up hitting you so then you could come back with an even stronger hit. Now on to the mods we're going to be running kinetic siphon and harmonic siphon along with well of striking. With kinetic siphon rapid final blows with a kinetic weapon is going to create us an orb of power and with harmonic siphon Rapid final blows with damage matching your subclass type creates orb of power. And then with well is striking, picking up an arc elemental well grants you additional melee energy. Multiple copies of this mod increase this effect. Moving on to the arm mods, for the first two mods you don't have to run though, so you can run champion mods if you want, but the first one is impact induction, the second one is fastball, and then in the last slot it is elemental charge. So with impact induction, causing damage with a melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown. And then fastball lets you throw your grenades farther and then elemental charge when you create an arc well you're gonna become charged with light for the chest piece mods you're gonna want your chest piece to be void so then you can have void resistance along with thermal shock plating resistance so then you can have damage resistance to all three element types then in the last slot you want to have melee well maker because we're gonna mainly be killing enemies with our melee and then that's gonna make us wells and then wells make us charged with light and also the wells are gonna give us all of our abilities back way faster. For our leg mods we're going to be running Innervasion and Recuperation and then for the last slot we're going to be running Supercharged. 
So with the two siphon mods we have on the helmet, this is going to be a good pairing with the two orb mods that we have on our legs right now. And then for supercharge, you can have two additional stacks of charge with light, up to five maximum now. And finally, for our class item mods, we're going to have outreach along with heavy handed. For Outreach, it is reduces melee cooldown when using your class ability. And Heavy Handed is, while charged with light, regain half of your melee energy when you use a charge melee ability, consuming one stack of charge with light. So since we're always going to be picking up wells, we should be stacked with charge with light for this to always be able to proc. And that about wraps up the video. I'm only 45 subs away from 300, so if you want to help me out with that, that would be greatly appreciated. I will see you in the next one. Peace.